question from chapter 4 oscillation it is related to differential equation of linear shm and expression for acceleration velocity and displacement it was in the previous examination for 3 mark as well as 4 mark you can see a question which was asked in the 2018 and 19 now let's see the answer of this question now we start with expression for acceleration we have to write differential equation of linear shm first so differential equation of linear shm is given by this formula you can see this formula so this is a differential equation of linear shm which we already obtained in the previous article now here this equation we can write d square x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x but here we know that so velocity is dx by dt and acceleration is dv by dt now in that if we substitute v dx by dt in that acceleration formula so we get d square x by dt square is a formula of acceleration it means that this is acceleration so instead of that term we can substitute acceleration so we get the final formula for acceleration minus omega square x now here we can write two cases for the acceleration formula the case number 1 at mean position you know that at mean position means at equilibrium position the x is equal to 0 if we substitute x is equal to 0 in this formula then acceleration is coming 0 so here we can say that minimum acceleration at mean position now case number 2 at extreme position now here we have to substitute this x is equal to plus a or minus a in this acceleration formula then we get a formula of the acceleration at extreme position and it is plus minus omega square a so this is the acceleration at extreme position and this is the maximum acceleration so maximum acceleration is when displacement is maximum that you remember so here we finish acceleration part now after the acceleration we have to proceed for velocity now let we start with the velocity so velocity of shm now this article we have to start with the previous article previous article means we have to consider here a formula of acceleration and by that formula of the acceleration we have to obtain formula of velocity so let me write acceleration formula or again i written here the differential equation here by that differential equation here i am written here this term dx by dt here and it is velocity or we can start with the acceleration formula so acceleration is equal to minus omega square x so that acceleration we can write dv by dt is equal to minus omega square x and which is this expression we can obtain it by differential equation or you can start with the acceleration formula also because we already derived acceleration formula now after that we have to find out velocity so let me do the little adjustment here this equation multiplied by x and divided by x then dx 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 get cancel and it is coming the previous equation so this is little adjustment we done here then i am writing here this dv by dx as it is and this dx by dt is velocity so we get here v dv by dx is equal to minus omega square x now this x term we can shift to this side then we get v dv is equal to minus omega square x dx now we have to obtain velocity so we can integrate this equation integrating both sides so we get so integration v dv is equal to this integration of minus omega square x dx this minus omega square is constant so taken out so integration of x dx so integration of v dv is coming v square by 2 this minus omega square as it is integration of x dx is x square by 2 plus c we are written here the constant of integration now after that 
we have to obtain this constant of integration and we have to substitute in this equation. Now, so we use a condition at extreme position or at extreme. At extreme position, x is equal to amplitude. x is equal to plus a or minus a. And velocity is coming zero at extreme position. So extreme position, x is a and velocity is zero. Because if we consider the example of simple pendulum, this is a mean position. So when we displace the bob to this position and if we release it, so this is the extreme position. Then it oscillates between the two positions, two extreme position. So at this position, x is equal to minus a and at this position, we can write x is plus a. So when this bob is reaching to this extreme position, velocity is zero, then it turns back to the towards the main position. Again, at mean, the velocity is maximum and then again it moves towards the extreme by decreasing velocity. Means velocity goes on decreasing when it is moving towards extreme. So when velocity is again zero, it turns back. So at extreme, you remember, the velocity is coming zero. So we can write here zero velocity in above equation. This we have to substitute in this equation one. Then v is zero. So zero is equal to minus omega. So instead of this x square, we substituted here a square. And divide by two as it is plus c. Now here, by transferring this minus term towards this left hand side, we get a value of c. c is equal to omega square a square by two. And this c, we have to substitute in equation number one. Then what we get? So you can see here. V square by 2 is equal to minus omega square x square by 2 plus omega square a square by 2. So this is the value of C which we substituted. Now here we have to take common factor here. So we can take uh, from this right hand side uh, omega square by 2 you can take common and then this 2 to get cancelled. Then we get V square is equal to omega square in a bracket a square minus x square but we have to find out v it's a v square so taking square root of both sides we get here expression for velocity in shm so you know that plus omega square is omega square and minus omega square is also omega square that's why we are written plus minus omega under root a square minus x square is the formula for velocity now we can write two cases of this equation at mean position you know that at mean position x is coming zero substitute x zero in this formula then we get a velocity and it is the maximum velocity and the formula we get is plus minus a omega after substituting x zero similar manner at extreme position we can write here x is equal to plus minus a that we have to substitute in this formula then we can write velocity and it is coming zero so at extreme position, velocity is zero. And the same thing which we already used in the previous article also here, at extreme velocity is zero. Now here, this is expression for velocity and the two cases of the velocity here. I hope everyone understood this. This is a basic mathematics only. Hardly if you go through this, I already written here all the details. Now after the velocity, we have to start with displacement. Again, we start with the velocity. So this velocity formula we already obtained here. Now in that velocity formula, we have to substitute V as a dx by dt. The right hand side remains same. Then we can transfer this dt to this right hand side. So dt we have to transfer to this side and omega to this left hand side. No, not omega. So sorry. So here we have to transfer this dt to this side and this square root term to this left hand side. Then we get dx divided by under root a square minus x square is equal to omega dt. Now integrating both sides, so we can write the equation here, omega is constant, so integration of dt only. Now this is a standard integration and this is coming sine inverse of x by a. And this dt is coming t. So after substituting these integrations, so what the next step we get? 
So we get here sine inverse of x by a and here omega t plus phi. Phi is the constant of integration that you remember. Okay, now here we get a formula of x. So I transfer sine inverse to the right hand side. So it is sine. So and a also to the right hand side. So a is divided here. Now to that side it is multiplied. Now here we get formula of x and this is expression for displacement in linear system. We can write two cases. You know that we are not writing cases in the way at mean, you know that at mean displacement is zero and at extreme displacement is plus minus a. Here we are writing two cases. Case number one in that if particles start at mean position, then what is the formula for displacement? And in case number two, if particles start at extreme, then what is the expression for displacement that we have to obtain? Now case number one, you can see here. If particles start at mean position, then what is the formula for displacement that we have to obtain? Now you see here, when particles start from mean position, so when time is zero, time is zero means it is at starting point. Starting point means it is at mean. So if it is at mean, then x is zero. So when time is zero, that time x is zero. Now this we can substitute in this for equation number one. Then what we get here? You can see. So we can write here, instead of x, zero. Here I written, instead of x, we have to write zero. Zero divided by this a is equal to sine of omega t. Instead of that t, I written here zero. Then it is coming zero plus five. Now we get here, zero is equal to sine phi. Sine of which angle is coming zero? You know that sine of zero is zero or sine of phi is also zero. So it means that, so phi is equal to zero or phi. The value of the phi is zero or phi. Okay. Now we substitute this value of the phi in the equation one. So you get here this formula. So we get here x is equal to a sine omega t plus 0. Omega t plus 0 is omega t. So we get here x is equal to this. x is equal to a sine omega t. And this is the displacement when particles start from mean position. That you remember. This is a very important formula. Similar manner we can write down here when the particles start from extreme position. So instead of mean now extreme, so case number two. So if particle start at extreme position. So when t is zero, particle is at starting point. Starting point is the extreme, means x is equal to a. Now we substitute these two in the above equation. Then what we get here? So x is what? A. So a is equal to a sine and t is zero. So zero plus five. Now a divided by a. So is 1 is equal to sine phi. Sine of which angle is coming once? You know that sine of 90, sine of 270, it is coming plus minus 1. So I can say that here, phi is 90 or 3 pi by 2 or 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and so on. So I substitute pi by 2 here in this above formula. Then here we get x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi is 90 or pi by 2. So that we substitute. Then we get here sine omega t plus 90 is cos omega t. So I can substitute here cos omega t instead of that. And then we get this formula for displacement when particles start from extreme. So remember this formula. Now here we obtain expression for acceleration, velocity and displacement as well as in additional we learn the cases also at mean, at extreme, as well as in case of displacement when particles start at mean as well as particles start at extreme. Listen, in a question if they ask about the cases or about the values at mean and extreme, then only you have to write down the cases. Otherwise, whatever the question we've seen at the beginning, the answer for that question is only the expression for acceleration, velocity and displacement only. Okay, thank you.